it's always nice to be part of this kind of matches. You know, um, obviously disappointed that it didn't go my way, but uh, you know, this kind of matches can can really go both ways. Um, but it was not my day. He he played better in important moments, and and you know that's it. But I'm 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 proud again of of, of a great week. Um, you know, making finals here last year. I won here, so it's for sure a place where I love to play and. Um, and yeah, so I'm already looking forward for next year. Let's open it up for questions in the front row here. Hi, Yannick. Absolutely great match tonight. Um, you've played, despite the result tonight, you've played a fantastic tournament. What positives will you take from this match and this tournament in general as you head into Shanghai next week? Yeah, uh, Shanghai is completely different because the, the, the situation is, is, is different. So hopefully, you know, we I get into rhythm quite quite fast. Um, for sure, it's going to be a tough first round match. You know, every tournament is, is, is difficult to play first rounds. And, and uh, you know, this week it, it has, has gone, you know, growing, uh, you know, starting off uh, in one way and finishing off in a, in a different way. For sure, there are things where where I can improve, and 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 we will work on that. Um, you know, trying trying to become always a better player, and and, and also a better person. You know, so it's it's you know the work never stops, and and yeah, I think that's that's really it. No, uh, you know, today uh, you know the, all three sets they were you know very tough physically. You know, it was a long match, so. Um, Felt like the third set was decided by very, very little points, small points, and um, they went his way. So it's all good. In the back. Uh, Yannick, in this t tenth meeting, and you mentioned you sure you're going to play Carlos more in the future. And uh, so what's your take on the rivalry between you and Carlos? Yeah, I feel like it's always, you know, great when when we meet. No, we try to push ourselves, you know, and and and, and each other to the limits. You know, we uh, him he for me is you know a point of where you know where where I work. You know, because also also today I saw a couple of things where where, where I need to get better, and you know it's 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 not only him. There are also a little bit other players, but. You know, it's always nice to share the court with him. Um, you know, I feel like also, also the fans they like it because you know usually the matches are quite long, they're physical. You know, there are many turning points. So um, yeah, it's it's as I said, always nice and then you know feel privileged and honored to to share the court with him. And as I said, we both we try to we try to win. We try to concentrate on every point and and. You know, having a great attitude on the court that makes it happen. That that it's a very a very interesting match always. Question over here. Hi, Jan. Hi. Have you noticed that you have a uh, win ten ten times of your tie break uh, uh, until today? And uh, so, what, what do you think during today's tie break? So last one when you are three zero in ahead. Thank you. No, oh, it can happen. Um, was up 3-0. I I served very good. It touched the net the first ball. Um, you know, if I go there for zero, it's already a bit different. But you know, it's it's unnecessary to talk about you know certain points. I felt like he he played great point also. You know, on on on, on three zero and three one. Then he served very well on 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 three two. Um, you know, the, the the margins are very small. So you know, but but in in the tie breaks, you know, the small margins they seem very big, um, and that's it. You know, it's it's you, you have to accept it. You have to have to keep working on, on a couple of things. And I won many tie breaks in the last period of time. Um, this one, it 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 went away, but you know, there is uh, that's it. No, it's it's all good. Let's get one more uh, question in English, please. Yes, go ahead, sir. We've touched on this a little bit. Uh, this was the longest match in singles men's 
history at the China Open. Where does this rank among your matches that you've played in your entire career so far? Um, difficult to say because um, I feel like every match you play or important match you play, you, you, you live a different moment. So it's also very tough to give it a ranking, but for sure it's, it's, it's in the top, top three, top five. You know, it's it's you know, seven six in the third in the final. It it's always tough. Um, I had I had some great matches in the in the past. You know, even if I'm if I'm still young as a player. So, but yeah, it's it's I'm always happy to to make new experiences. You know, trying trying to grow and uh, yeah. Sometimes you you win and sometimes you lose and, and and that's how the sport is. There are very highs and and sometimes there are lows and. It's all good. My my season is going, you know, very very consistent, very great. We we try to keep building and and working for the rest of the season. Now in the next tournament, it's a very important tournament for me because I. It's only the second time I play there, but I I haven't reached the final stages of the tournament yet. So, you know, it's already trying to concentrate there and and hopefully finishing off the the season in a in a very positive way. Well. Uh I'm start saying that the, when Yannick and I face each other, uh, play against each other, I think it's a really good thing for for tennis, you know, because we we always uh, we always so a really intense match, really close match, great points, great rallies. I think for 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 the people who uh, don't watch tennis. Uh, Probably thanks to, to this kind of, of matches, it starts to, to watch tennis or even practice it. So I think I think uh, it is uh, it is pretty good. Uh, I I try to enjoy as much as I can, you know, playing against him. That, but it's not it's not easy. Uh, and, and I'm really happy. I mean, when you're able to be one of the best, if not the best tennis player in the world, obviously it seems like. Uh, you're doing the great things, you're doing the, the, the right work uh, and you know I'm, I'm proud about myself with uh, everything I've done the last month, uh, working really hard physically, uh, you know on the court as well, has been in an intense month but uh, really happy to, to end it up uh, with, the, with the trophy here in, in Beijing, I mean with a really Incredible match, I guess. Uh, so I think both of us uh, saw a really high level of tennis, high level of uh, you know level of uh, mentally, uh, physically, until the the last ball, running every uh, from side to side, showing really good rallies, re really good points, you know, in the tiebreak of the third. So I'm I'm really happy to to be able to get that that win at the end. Questions. Hi, Carlos. Once again, congratulations. Great match. I'm curious, in, in a match that ended up being the longest in men's singles history at the China Open, how do you find that second gear and <coughs> win seven straight points in that tie break at the end? Well, uh, it was uh, a really close match. I mean, Danny could win, you know, in straight sets. I, I could win, you know, in two sets. But... Uh, uh, I had my, my chances in the first set, didn't didn't take it, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really happy with the way that I that I managed that uh, that moment. Like uh, I I lost the first set with uh, a lot of opportunities, uh, didn't make it. So uh, coming up in the in the in the second set, uh, try to to clean my mind a little bit and just uh, try to keep going, uh, playing a, a good tennis that I was I was doing the first set, and and then. Uh, at the end, it was uh, it was close. I mean, I I thought in the tiebreak, you know, oh, the 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 stats about uh, Janik's tiebreaks. I think he didn't lose like the the last 18 or 15 tiebreaks. He didn't lose uh, anyone, and then he start it started three three love with uh, two mini breaks. Was uh, I thought uh, it was okay? Uh, I will try not to lose uh, another tiebreak, but uh, you know it was uh, it, it was tough. Uh, and then next two points was a uh, really uh, close point as well. But uh, after that, I just I tried to keep going, try not to think about uh, anything else about the 
but the, the next point and, and try to, to play the, the same way that I was playing. If I if I miss it, I miss it. But uh, I I, want, I wanted to, to think that the, I, I went for it for it all, all the time. That's that's and I say that's uh, all it matters. Okay, so we'll switch to Chinese question. Chinese question. So Carlos, maybe this time the headset. Uh, Carlos, congratulations. Now it's still in English. Uh, I, I saw you are your coach, Mr. Ferrero. Sorry. It's English, Chinese? English. Yeah, still in English. Okay. Sorry. I saw. You, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I saw you, your coach, Mr. Ferrero, uh, cried uh, in, the, in his box, and uh, after the game, she looked uh, very uh, emotional. Uh, it's it's rare because I never seen uh, Mr. Ferrero cried, uh, even 20 years ago when he uh, competed in this uh, China Open. Uh, did he tell you? Uh, uh, anything about that? Why he's so emotional? Is that because of a uh, pressure or uh, in sales? And uh, how high is his expectation to you? Thank you. Well, uh, I didn't. I didn't see him crying. So uh, that's uh, a good thing to know, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it was a, a really special win for me. Uh, lifting this trophy uh, in front of. Uh, of my team, of part of my family, it was uh, it was a great a great uh, great moment for me. Uh, I guess he, he got emotional at the end because uh, we all know uh, what we uh, went through. You know the last uh, the last month or the last two months, uh, and uh, it was a really difficult moment uh on the core of the core as, as i said in the in the speech uh thanks thanks to them i started to uh to get the the joy back uh, playing uh playing the matches uh, practicing i got motivated again uh, i really wanted to to travel to play tournaments again so pr probably after the, the american swing it was uh, i was a little bit down uh that i didn't want to to touch a racket for for a while i didn't want to travel uh, let's see let, let's say so after that uh, we we talk uh, a lot during during those days uh, knowing that they have to, to be back practicing uh, be stronger physically be stronger mentally uh, just to to overcome on those those uh, problems let's say and you know, the last month we we've been working really, really hard on the core of the core just to uh, be able to feel uh, this this moment again. And I, I'm gonna say that's uh, why he he got emotional. I for me it was uh, special, and for the people that are, are around me, it's a special moment. So uh, that's uh, I'm gonna say that's that's why. <laughs> 